Hey everybody, Jesus Christ, Team Western Chandler, Sonic you find here once again. When the child, when the child is actually coming into play for summer around that point. Come on, or, dude, it's not real. Might keep it's not dark real. Let, let oh my gosh, until, dude, until I'm gonna. Dude, after the child dude, is born. dude. I mean, after all, I have a right to my privacy. Oh hi. Speckle time, and what you just saw had me reacting the same way Bossman did. I have to say, these news have gotten me feeling a certain kind of way, and I'm not sure I'm okay. I mean, this is Christian we're talking here, and he's talking about having a child? Like an actual flesh and blood child? Guys, I I, I don't think I can handle this. I, I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna f***ing do it! Thank you, Austin. Okay, folks, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it seems our good old pal Chris over here... He's talking about being a father, or wait, is it mother? Um, Austin, help me out here. What is that? A what is that? <laughs> Never mind, it's fine. Okay, I'm still just as confused, but thanks for the input, Austin. If you've been following Christian, you know that he's been caught in the wild, spending time with a small, young-looking blonde girl nicknamed Flutter. Now that name comes from Chris himself, as he introduced her as such in his infamous "Setting the Record Straight" video where he tried pathetically to fight back the allegations that he allegedly, allegedly, um, graped his own elderly mother. Okay, okay, let's settle down, dudes. Okay, I think it's over. We're, we're okay, right, Austin? Okay, we're okay. It's over. It's over. No, we're okay. Okay, so you saw that clip in the beginning, and I'm gonna show you two again right now, so we can then have a yap sesh about it. Guys, just take the Tron, yeah. Hmm. When the child when the child is actually coming into play for summer around that point. Or I just might keep y'all in the dark and let, let y'all know it till and wait till after the child is born. I mean after all I have a right to my privacy There's no person that y'all need to know about. So after witnessing this cursed clip everyone is now thinking that this whole baby talk is connected to this flutter girl allegedly 30 years old by the way but then again this is coming from chris's own mouth so this is all assuming that they actually have a romantic relationship to be fair their public outings so far would maybe have us believe as much or maybe people just wish it to be so but without concrete proof that such a relationship is real i for one don't believe this child talk is in relation with her at least not directly. I propose instead two theories. It's no surprise to anyone if I tell you that Chris Chan has never had success with the ladies. Some of you might know throughout the years he's been constantly catfished and trolled more times than I can count. Is there a chance, tiny as it is, that there might be a woman out there that wants Chris in that way and that this woman is Flutter? It's possible, but I don't think this is it. I think if that was the case, we'd definitely have Chris rubbing it in all our faces. He'd be telling the whole world he'd finally found his perfect gal pal, the perfect boyfriend-free girl for him. We had none of that. Plus, all the footage, all the photos that we've been able to gather of the two together in public outings don't give me the feeling that they're an actual couple. To me, they all just look like a woman with a friend's own simp. Now, does that mean that Chris doesn't want it to be more than just a friendship? Hell no. <laughs> I bet he really wants to get in Flutter's pants, and I shudder to imagine all the times he must have invaded their personal space. Which really has me questioning why this girl Flutter wants to be close to Chris. What is the motive here? I've read that she contacted him when Chris was still in jail for <laughs> allegedly, allegedly, uh, graving his mother. Is she perhaps autistic or just as mentally ill as Chris is and she found somebody to connect with in that way? I don't know. Like I said, unfortunately, Chris has never really enlightened us with the nature of their relationship. The only thing he said is that they're friends, which I'm not surprised. Speaking of that, Chris has been caught before saying something related to the friend zone complaining about it. This happened in between when he first talked about her and today, though I cannot remember where I saw that clip, nor do I have it. And so like I was saying, to me there are two roads in front of us, two theories behind this coming of a child pregnancy news that I want to share with you guys. The first one being, 
the one that everyone seems to be believing in, believing is the most probable, that this baby news really is about Flutter, that they are in an actual romantic relationship and either she's already pregnant or they are trying to conceive. And because as Chris said himself, the child will be coming somewhere in the future, but it implies that it's still not a thing. It's still in progress, right? And second, this is the one I think is the most likely to be true. I just think it's kind of weird that nobody's mentioning it. They're, everybody's just jumping to the conclusion that it must be Flutter and that she's pregnant. To me, it is more likely that this is all part of Chris's headcanon. You know, the Quickville stuff where he imagines that there's an alternate universe. That the universe is made up of different dimensions. And so that this whole child talk is just something that's happening in this alternate dimension of his, which he calls C-197. To me, this makes much more sense. Although obviously this isn't as clickbaity as saying that, oh my God, Chris is literally having a real child. So he's either imagining that he's having a child with, uh, I don't know, Sonichu or supposed husband Magi-chan. The whole lore behind Chris's different partners in this alternate universe is very convoluted. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of videos out there explaining the whole thing. Suffice it to say, Chris is quite into polygamy. That's all I'll say. And as with his real life alleged actions, also very um, incestuous. I'll just leave it at that. Now, I did mention two theories, but there might be a third. But this is still in connection with the whole alternate dimension C-197. So what if? I mean, we all know that he, that Chris is trying to pass off as a woman. Nobody's convinced. We'll just say the obvious. But given that he thinks he's a woman, i so sorry to have to pronounce these words to you and put this picture into your minds. What if Chris actually thinks that he's the one that's going to be pregnant? That he's going to be impregnated by one of the characters in the alternate dimension? I, uh, uh, uh. Austin, help me out here. <laughs> Damn, I think we lost him. I really hope that I'm right and that Chris isn't actually having a child in the real world. That kid would be handled such a bad hand at life. I can't even imagine what a child of his would look like. And how mentally screwed it would be. Not just from a genetic standpoint, but also from an upbringing standpoint. That, that baby would have to be immediately removed from Chris's hands by CPS. To ensure its well-being, because we all know how Chris treated his own mother. I can't even imagine what he would do to a child. Okay, I'll update you guys as soon as we have more news on this Christian pregnancy situation. Before I go, I'll show you guys some clips from the rest of the stream that I found hilarious. I think you'll like them. But before I go, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. It's very, it's nearing completion. There is no doubt in my mind whatsoever. Yes, the delay, well, tangible delay if I may, has been quite annoying to my consciousness and my body, but still, it is completion. It is manifesting. We're like within that. Nine nine point nine 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 Yes, but I am not a fan of what Gino Senyo has been doing because he does not uh, he does not have all the details. He does not fully comprehend. He just only speaks what is written on the internet. And yet the internet does not know everything. You think I have said everything about my life? I remember this, I heard this in the news recently. Have y'all heard this? Have y'all heard this? Hmm? Netanyahu has been arrested. The arrest warrant has been got in front of, against him for war crimes. So he's no longer the Prime Minister of Israel. And I've actually heard what he done. He did not do too many good things. I read about it in the newspaper. I heard about it on the radio. Yeah, I was definitely not a fan of his. He did Israel wrong. I can only affect so much through manifestation. And there are demons and devils in play. Of course, they tempt. And of course, you know, between... Trump and his people, they have a bit too much money. And you know what? I'm going to state this right now. I would actually feel better. And I've actually become aware of this. I've watched documentaries about, uh, I would, and learned about, uh, a bit more about communism and 
what, and all the other isms right there. Something like socialism, where actually you got people in the workforce actually getting the money. And you got the billionaires actually paying their taxes and making things a bit more affordable for everyone. That I would agree with. If there was a way of smooshing capitalism and socialism, I feel like that would be a whole lot beneficial for America. Huh. Jack the Hawk from the Sonic Riders. He's an okay guy. Jack the Hawk is an okay guy. That's all I will say about that. Okay. Well, that was the thing to say there. Maria! Maria! Yep. Not reading that one. No! Mm. She, she's gonna win in this in this timeline that you mentioned, so you don't need to worry. Definitely more ring. Um, is that a video game or a song? Ring subduction versus you know whatever, but it's, it is a good thing. I do believe in those able to redeem themselves. Our wings of light power and goodness.